students. Yes. Number two, not all. No? Okay, yeah. Yeah, not all, but they do. <laughs> Some. Um, number two, is that um, nothing's wrong with having a student representative in a policy making body. I mean, nothing is wrong with yeah. administrative policies. And number three, that you're simply following the you're simply following the guidelines. And in my previous question, number four, that we can make an, uh, a manual for ourselves. Can can we recognize all these four questions and all these four answers to the point of? Is that coming? All the oh, I will not, process that I will eventually not in the making of our manual. I will not promise you we that we will do that, but we will. That is one of the things <laughs> that has to be done by the college. But right now, it's not the priority. But okay, the, there are more pressing priorities than the manual itself. Ang UPV, pila na good years? Pila kaya sa UPV? Sige lang din mo nga, hindi mo tag akong manual, hindi mo tag akong manual. Ang tugaro, ang sila kaya nga. Kaya na, consciously saying, we make our own manual. Masaya, short. So, it is part of that, but it is the least of our priorities at the moment because the priorities that we have are kind of already in place, but they are already functioning. You have to set the, the environment that, that it, so that it can work according to the rules. So, most of your main priorities perhaps are um, priorities that concern students. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And, and not not on student one concerns on students, particularly academic programs. No? Academic programs like BS Biology, uh, Home Science. How are we going? How is that? So how is this list of a concern concern that still it is about students? and student representation and still about student concern so I don't think that it should be tagged as a list of a concern, concern. or yeah. it's not a priority right? a list of a concern and manual of a concern is it a necessity to follow everything for the manual? yes is it a necessity to follow the manual specifically from the demand? yes at the moment I know so we didn't know well I don't know about Assuming the fact that you even Mindanao was able to become autonomous without the help of the or without even following the manual coming from the demand, then is it yet possible for you to be able to do the same thing, knowing the fact that even before the existence of based on your premise, I cannot answer that because I do not know whether the demand or Mindanao is following or not. I have no basis. Simply heard it from you. Uh, question before, let me just reiterate that you said yourself that it will not disqualify us if we do have students. Yeah, I heard I have explained several times. Sir, how about sir, um, the ones we put in the UT charters, sir, from mm -hmm. section KH, provide democratic governance in the university based on collegiality, representation, accountability, transparency, and active participation of its students. Yeah, we, how are we going to materialize that, sir? We, we will do that. We have been doing that since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why not continue? Uh, sir, we're going to be it's not only the exit We've been doing that. Why we did that? Sir, we're going to be able to get the money. We're Sir, I think the Exicom does not hold any other representative rights. 
If kanang if nai katung advisory council, kanang kanang recognizing di kanang chart kanang provisions sa charter nga dapat ang all constituents must be represented. Should we recognize nga nai student representation sa kanang advisory council? It does not say uh, direct student representation in the council. It does not say that. It simply says democratic governance. But no, the, or, I mean, uh, the, oh, but the main one, yeah, there should be a student region, there should be a staff region, there should be a faculty region. See, but, okay, specific. So, not any other offices that can be tapped. But in case of uh, UP Mindanao, I don't know about that yet. Uh, so, I will take a look, I'll take a look at their uh, management committee, how it was formulated. Uh, because, um, you know, we were part of UPB, we were not part of UPB Mindanao. Sir, once you have taken note of everything about UPB Mindanao, can we have another time to discuss about this? I, I do not know. So, sir, para niyo ang ganang democratic governance ng team sa UPB Charter kay Tutuko na sa katong BOI kay Mahalig do ang student region? As is specified kung kung sa iyong office. Otherwise, it will specify that ang unit ang good, no? I think in the new charter it says how the dean will be selected. So the 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 dean is selected by virtue of that charter. But can I give you considering that the government so it's a UP guy, dapat participate participate niya. You mean it? Wala pa tayong dinayan na participate kay bisag sa tuition fee increase lang na consultation. But does it, like, sir, the democratic governance is specified especially in the BOR, does that mean that does, that does not hold true to other units? It holds true, but does it mean also that you, you become part of the execom? Did it say? Well, um, it could be materialized. We, we are speculating. Um, but uh, it has already happened, sir. Yeah, it has uh, happened now. Yeah, it is in the past. And they want to change in the middle of it. Sir, we're going to have to do a detriment, sir, but we're going to have to do a detriment to exit from here. Benefit, but we're going to have to do a detriment. We're going to have to do a detriment.